will start in the pool. Kubasov, Kutlu, Diaz, Bertra, Ponce, Butiardo, Huerta, Cherniev, and Rodriguez. So Diaz looking to uh, use what he can off the starting blocks and gets off to a very quick start. So two for Sebastián Rodríguez of Spain going in lane eight. Once they get into their stroke, it's, it's about settling and finding a rhythm and a tempo in the 200 meters. It's long enough to have a little bit of time to make up, but it's, uh, it's, it's uh, and, and certainly a little longer than a sprint, but short enough to, uh, to know that there are still swimmers in the pool who are going to have some back end speed. Yeah, and for the S5 classification, the 200 freestyle is the longest event that they have. You would call it their equivalent of a distance. Bocciardo getting off the wall. Ponce actually was quite a, quite far from the wall. He almost missed his turn there, but he's able to recover nicely. So in the S5 classification, it's four 50-meter lengths, and most of them, they're going to be pretty even split because they don't get a lot off the start, and they don't get a lot off the turns. And here we have Bocciardo, he's going out and he's trying to get a lead over Ponce. Ponce is going to be pretty hard to beat in that second half, but he is fading behind Bocciardo quite a bit. Uh, Daniel Diaz is uh, not in medal position currently. At the moment at the wall, it's Bocciardo at the halfway mark, who touches in 1.12.13. Over two and a half seconds up on Ponce, but he is going to need to build the lead if he is to try to protect his chance of winning the uh, gold medal, you fancy. But he's also the world record holder. He knows how to win races, and there's a reason that he's managed to claim both the world and European championship titles recently. Daniel Diaz is struggling to compete for a bronze medal here. Currently, it looks to be Huerta going very nicely in lane six. And it's Bocciardo, who is flanked by Spaniards, finds himself going to the wall at 150 and looking to touch first. Bocciardo, he looked great. Coming up in that third 50, he was very close. He was hovering on the right side of the lane, which is not the most efficient swim. But now for the fourth length, he's got, he's got himself back in the middle of the pool. And he looks great. His tempo looks good. He looks very strong as he approaches. Well, at the 25 uh, meter to go mark, there is nobody else that is anywhere near touching distance. This is fantastic from Daniel Diaz in terms of getting himself back into winning a uh, medal position. He is really closing in on second even, but there's no doubt about who's going to win this. It is going to be in lane five. Bocciardo is the world record holder, claims the Paralympic record for himself as well, and the gold medal secured for Italy. It is a silver medal for Ponce, who claims it for Spain, while Daniel Diaz hits a remarkable achievement for Brazil. That is a quarter of a century of Paralympic medals for the Brazilian who touches third. Fourth fastest was Huerta just outside the medals, as in the final 50 it was Diaz who turned on the, uh, the afterburners to catch him in the pool. But Francesco Bucciardo world champion european champion is a paralympic games champion and what that will mean to the italian as the country continues to enjoy further success in the pool anthony ponce with the silver medal for spain while well, daniel diaz just loving every moment of his time in the pool over the years a man who's dominated in so many international tournaments has got the bronze medal here you can see them they this class both Giardo and both Ponce they don't really get anything coming off of the start and here he is coming for a swim everything every every stroke all of his power comes as he's actually swimming coming into the turns he flips but you'll see he can't really push off the wall so that means he has to approach every wall with as much as possible and then he has to pop up to the surface and immediately start stroking comes in and he finishes he looks a bit tired there it was a great swim on his end with their <laughs> new paralympic <laughs> record <laughs> well you you'll you'll take a little bit of uh a little bit of exhaustion if you've managed